Hello, here we are. I wanted to do a really quick video showing you how to do a hidden spine for Eileen Hull. This is using her new full-size die. So a lot of people ask this question. I thought I would go ahead and just show you how to do it. Basically, I got, I'm, I have five holes and I'm gonna have five hidden spine on the inside and it'll actually end up being six. So I'll have six, you'll see as I go. I'll have, I'll have six rows of elastic to make my hidden spine. And this, the way I'm doing it will ensure that I have elastic all through the top to make it a consistent, you know, consistent amount of elastic showing through the top. And that's what gives me six, sort of a bonus place to put a signature. As a result, I cut my elastic six times the length of my book with a little bit to spare. I always like doing a little bit to spare just in case. So it's basically one, two, three, four, five, six, and then a couple inches. So the reason why we like to measure the length is this formula can be used for any size book. So rather than me tell you in inches, if I tell you in lengths of spine, if you have a small book or a shorter book and you only have three holes, you would just do four times. So it's like one extra, right? Because I'm going to have basically going to have six. And because it's elastic, you have a bit of stretch and that's what makes the formula work. So what I'm going to do is just take my elastic and this is, let me tell you how, I want to say it's one millimeter. It might, it might be less than one millimeter. It's pretty thin. I think one millimeter is fatter. But for this technique, actually, because you're not going to be threading beads onto your elastic, you can use a heavier weight. So one millimeter is a good weight. I'm going to take my elastic and I'm going to just find the halfway point. So find the halfway point. And I'm going to thread one side through the middle hole into the inside. And I'm just going to hold my thumb there. Then I'm going to flip it. And I'm going to thread it down straight to the bottom. I mean, there's limited options in which way you can go because the idea is to put your signature in. You need it, the elastic to go from bottom to top. So then I'm going to come on the outside and it's obvious because my thread's on the outside. It has to go back in somehow. I'm just going to go across one like that. And I'm holding it so I'm not pulling that extra. I don't want to, you know, I still want this half over here. And then I'm going to go up to the top. Then I'm going to go to the outside hole from the middle. And either you can go either direction, either side, but obviously one at a time. Then I'm going to come back down. And now I'm at the bottom. So the thing of it is, I want to, obviously this to be over here. So I'm, I want to fill in that gap as it is. Another thing you can do that makes this easier is I can then just clip this with a, and a clip, binder clip, just keep that there out of the way. And then I'm going to take my second half. I'm going to go across one. So I it was sitting out, just sitting outside the middle. I'm going to go across and then I'm going to go straight down. So I get that line, get that line. Then I'm going to go across again. Then I'm going to come straight up. So now this is where I'm at. I have one missing here and one missing here. You could do it 
I mean, if that doesn't bother you, it doesn't matter, right? You could have one and have it not be even. But again, I wanted to show you how to have it across the whole way. So I'm going to come through the top to fill in that gap. Now the idea is I have to somehow meet up with this thread in, in the same signature. Just, you don't have to, but you, well, you do. Because if I cross over, then when I go to put my books in, it's going to be kind of cattywonka. So it just makes more sense to have it end up in the same place. So I'm going to see where I'm missing. So I'm missing one up here and I'm missing one down here. So, but again, they have to meet up somehow. So if I skip the middle hole and come out this hole, so I'm going to skip the middle hole. What I'm going to aim for is to come, have them both meet in the middle again. And I just have this across the top. And that's fine. You just make sure that it's not trapping any of these, which it's not. It's fine. And then I'm going to come through the middle. Okay, so now I have it all across the top. So now this one at the bottom... I'm missing from here to here. So I'm just going to wind my thread all the way. I'm going to miss the middle hole again. And put my thread through. And then I'm going to come back to the middle. And so now both my thread are in the middle. At this point, you can, like a lot of these are really too loose. So what I can do at this point is sort of go back through and tighten my threads up. This gets tricky. This is the tricky part because you kind of have to go the same direction you went in to start with. Otherwise, it doesn't, it, you know. So you kind of have to go, okay, I started in the middle. So I'm going to pull this way to get this one tighter. And then I came through this way. So I'm going to pull that. So you kind of want this sound. It's more of a sound, really. And what that'll do is it, I want to have enough space that my I can have a taller book. I don't want it to be so tight that I can only have a book from here, to, from the holes on. So I want to have it be long enough that my book, it can hold a book like that, where I can have a full-size book. And this does take a little bit of practice and a little bit of finessing. But like, so hear this? Like, that has a snap. This is kind of not as snappy. So again, I'm going, and this one's really loose. So I'm going to take this one. I know that this was my second string. So I can pull that. And again, it's, you just, this just takes some getting used to. You just kind of have to figure it out. But then once I'm done and I have all, they all feel pretty good, I can tie my knot in the middle. Now, one of the things I always like to do, I can already see this one's still too loose, but that's okay. I can leave it for now. What I'm going to do, I can tie an, um, something that's easy to undo, right? So I can just do a loop instead of a knot and loop it through or do a... Do one, so do do one, like, how do you say it? Over and under. And instead of coming over and under on my second one, I just can tie a bow. And then what that does, it allows me to, I can undo this. So when I come, it comes time for me to put my, put my signatures in and I see this one's loose, I can still rearrange. But basically, that's how you do it. Got all the nice holes across the top. All the holes are covered in the bottom. And then I have room for a bonus signature. So I have room for six signatures. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. You can also check out my blog, karenbeers.blogspot.com. And please subscribe to my channel. That would make me so happy and it will allow you to be notified when I make new videos. Have a great day.